full time in Borisov. Arsenal 4, Borisov 2. Borisov 2, Arsenal 4, whichever way you want to put it. I have to say, I thoroughly enjoyed that. It was a bit of a throwback, almost to sort of the old uh, Carling Cup days. You know, it was a heavily changed Arsenal side. Some exciting young players in there. Uh, plenty of goals. A new opponent, fresh opponent, fresh faces. It was fun. I've seen a bit of negativity. People saying Arsenal was sloppy in the second half. You know, why did they let Borisov back into the game? I don't really care. I had very few expectations for this game. Very low expectations. You know, I really believed we were we had to change the team around. We did do that. And in doing that, you never really know what you're going to get. It's always a, a bit of a gamble. But to come away from it with three points, four goals, nine changes, I think that's a very, very good night's work. And look, as a fan, I enjoyed watching the game. We played some good football. It was exciting. It was open. It was end-to-end. No complaints. No complaints at all. I suppose we should talk about a few individuals, really. Jack Wilshere, a lot of people are going to speak about him tonight. He played, you know, he wears number 10 on his back. He played as a number 10, really, in an advanced role behind Olivier Giroud, um, kind of the Meza Ozil role. And I thought he did really, really well. I mean, granted, the level of the opponents wasn't that great, especially in the first half, but that doesn't affect necessarily the quality of his touch, the weight of his passing and those and his decision making. And all three of those things were spot on for Jack. He looked as sharp as I'd seen him in an Arsenal shirt for some time. And uh, I was really delighted for him. His link play with Giroud and Walcott was good. And I wonder if, given his kind of physical frailty, um, which seems a strange thing to say about a man with such remarkably stocky, thick thighs. But given uh, his physical frailty, I wonder if those advanced positions are better for him uh, and it makes the most of his creative talent. So, yeah, he might feel that he's better as a central midfielder. I like him as a number 10 uh, in these games. What about the younger players? Well, I thought Reese Nelson started really brightly, some neat touches. Uh, he's not a wing back, but he's so confident on the ball that he can kind of get away with it. Ainsley Maitland-Niles, I suppose the same is true of him, not really playing in his best position. But whilst it's Nelson's technique that enables him to get by, with Maitland-Niles, you feel it's his athleticism, such stamina, such speed. He can recover pretty much anything, uh, any mistake he makes out there. The guy I was most impressed with was Joe Willock. It's an interesting one, Willock, because he's somebody who um, didn't start out as a central midfielder. Uh, like his brother Chris, he was kind of a number 10 or a wide forward. But when you see him in central midfield, it makes so much sense. He looks like he was built for the position. Unusually for someone who comes to the Arsenal Academy, his physical attributes are maybe his strongest. He is tall, powerful, good physique. Already at 18 years of age, he's able to resist challenges from older, more mature players. I suppose the last guy to come through with that kind of build at Arsenal was probably Isaac Hayden. And he's gone on to make a Premier League career for himself with Newcastle. Um, I really like the look of Willock. You know, you don't want to go overboard with any young player, but he's got that kind of Steven and Zonzi shape to him. You know, physique with technique. A couple of moments where he, you know, took the ball, strode away from players. I have to say I was reminded a little bit of Abu Diaby. I don't think he's got quite that technical level, but or if he does, we haven't seen him express it yet. But I was really encouraged by his performance. You know, uh, he looks like a, a a prospect worth keeping an eye on. Theo Walcott, two more goals for him tonight. Say what you like about him. He does produce in the final third. He probably should have had four goals or created a couple more. I suppose that's the trade-off with Walcott, you know. And Olivier Giroud, 100 goals in 238 games. Apparently about 70 of those games are off the bench. That is a, an excellent record. And he joins... Uh, an impressive list of Arsenal centurions. Walcott among them, let's not forget. Pleased for him to get that goal tonight. I felt like it was maybe weighing on him a little. Uh, he even seemed liberated having having scored it. And it was a very neat penalty kick too. Not quite sure what it was awarded for, but not going to complain. We were a bit sloppy at the back. Holding Murtaka Mustafi, the understanding wasn't great. Uh, David Ospina didn't put much pressure on Petr Cech with his performance tonight. But... We got the win. Great experience for some of those young players. Eddie and Katia came off the bench. Marcus and Gain too. And yeah, it was fun. You know, it was fun. So far, the Europa League's sort of been a bit of a laugh. Um, speak to you soon. Cheers, guys. Subscribe. <laughs>